Hey you guys, I'm Marta Giga. In this video I'm playing uh, Gears of War 3 on the Xbox One. <laughs> yes, this is on the Xbox One. Thanks to the backwards compatibility uh, thing that the Xbox One has now. Uh, this game, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was available on the first wave of games available for the Xbox One from the 360. Um, but this game is actually hard to find, Gears of War 3 at, at the GameStops or on the lo at least at my local stores here in El Paso. I've been trying to look for this game everywhere and all I find is part one, part two and uh, there's like a juggernaut edition which uh, includes like uh, part one, part two and plus a DLC from part one. Um, but part three was hard to find. So I found it this weekend in... Uh, GameStop, um, I think it was in Saragossa, something like that. If you're from Impasa, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and um, here it is. Look, you know, this is I'm launching this game here on the Xbox One. It did take like eight gigabytes of an update installation. Um, and right here, like you see here, if you select the standard, uh, you could go back. It says here previously in Gears. You could go back and get refresh on the back backstory of Gears of War, uh, just in case you don't remember what happened in part one and part two. So right here, you can basically go back and um, um, see what happened. Very cool, well done. The the cutscene, I never did see it because, like I said, I never did play this game on the Xbox 360. I did play part one and part two on the xbox 360 but i think uh, if i'm not mistaken i got tired of the um the red ring of death because uh for those that know me from back then i did have five xbox 360s and all of them was because of problems not just not just a red ring of death but other problems as well with the consoles so i did have up to five xbox Jeff, 360 that door. and i do know more, a lot more people that had more than five Xbox 360s. So I got tired of it and then I switched to the PlayStation 3. Getting you out. Um, and Here, after that I missed on, this game me. and I missed the Judgment Day, but I really, based on the reviews that I've heard from that game, I'm, I'm not really Things that interested in playing Judgment Day. Um, i rather play this one because it's a, a it's a, it comes after no, all the both there. games he that I played, you. part one and part two, so this would be you know, following that experience, um, and when I had the Xbox 360, wait, uh, my username was different as well. I think it was Mark Howe, Mark A O, Mark Howe. Um, like you see here, you can also press double. You could double tap the home button, and you can take a screenshot at of the games. It doesn't matter if it's a 360 game. Um, and you can access it, like you see here, I can access the screenshot right there. And from right here, you can press the option button and you can set it up as a background if you want. It works just like an Xbox One game would work, which is awesome. Plus you get all the, tr all, all the achievements from Xbox 360. Um, it gets applied to your Xbox One account as well. Cause this is the same thing. Uh, but like I was saying, my first account was Mark A.O. I think Mark How. So, but I haven't used that account again. Um, ever since I got the Xbox One, I decided to start new with my new name, Mark the Geek. Which is kind of stupid because I should have I should have uh, changed the name of Mark Howe to Mark the Geek. I forgot I could do that on Xbox One. I think you actually have to pay. I think you actually have to pay five dollars or fifteen dollars. I don't know because I never done it, but I know you you would have to pay to change your name. And I think I should have. That way I could have my almost. I think I had like almost thirty thousand achievement points. I think even more than that. Um, and here, you know, this game is awesome. I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite franchises, Gears of War. When Gears of War 1 came out, I was I was obsessed with that game. Um, especially because of so easy it is to cover. Cover was amazing. It was so good that a lot of games after Gears of War started copying Gears of War um, covering base, which was amazing. Um, you can see a lot of work. games. I, I remember I there was a game. Uh, I can't 
can't remember the name of the game that totally ripped off to do the it. way the cover system the here works. Uh, he got this giant beast, with, which is a big, head, big, huge, like tarantula-like alien. <laughs> so right now, I think I'm gonna have to cut this scene a little bit and go a little bit forward. That way, you guys can see a little bit better gameplay. There we go. I just skip a little bit forward, just in case I get hit by copyright because of the little theme song right there at the beginning of the game. But the game that was basically like a little intro and prologue we was was very cool, like a little dream sequence. And like you see there, you get the Gears of War 3 um, brand right there on the screen. Um, and I gotta say, the controls, they feel spot on with the Xbox One controller. Uh, since the Xbox One controller is basically the same as the Xbox 360, I'm glad that it does feel a little bit smaller, I think. But it's basically the same buttons, configuration and all that. So you don't have to make any adjustments at all if you played this game before on the xbox 360 uh you just play it straight it's out okay. just like you used to where to find them um and uh controls um here of course at the beginning of the gameplay i'm trying to get used to the controls because like i said it's been like wow i think more than five years i think more than five years i haven't touched the gears of war game because, like I said, I played part one, like, I think I finished part one, like, three times. I finished it on normal, then I finished it hardcore, like, two times. Uh, part two, I finished it two times, which was amazing. I liked it. A lot of people didn't like it. I, I, I loved it. Part two was pretty cool. Um, part three, of course, I didn't play it. Here, see if there's something in here. The Raven's coming back. There it is. And I gotta say, the game still stands up. Sam you know, when it comes, it's supplies. 2015 and uh, uh, 2016. Maybe bear and I still, I still think that the graphics of this game is still very good compared to a lot of uh, games that come out. Uh, plus, the gameplay mechanics um, of Gears of War for me is spot on. It's amazing. You're walking through. Looks everything looks very nice here. Uh, there's a couple games that I really want to play on the Xbox One from the Xbox 360, like uh, Blacklist, Splinter Cell Blacklist. Yeah. I'm a very Rent huge fan list. of Splinter Cell, and I've played like every single Splinter Cell games, yeah. even the ones that people don't like. <laughs> I played every single one of them. But the only one that I didn't play was Blacklist, and that's because I, will, I think I was busy playing other games, that I just couldn't stop playing Come on, and um, my friends actually play Blacklist I think he uploaded right, right. a couple videos and I love it you know I, 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 I've seen the reviews and I've seen gameplay and I love everything they did with Splinter Cell there um, and that game is available for the Xbox 360 but it's not available in the backwards compatibility list kind of sucks I wish I hope that game is available uh, the other game that I want to play on the Michael Xbox One is uh, Mass Effect 3. Because I did play Mass Effect 1. I did play Mass Effect 2. I didn't finish either one. Because uh, for those that know, I, I'm not a very huge fan of very long um, RPG action games. Uh, but I did like that game. You know, I, I really didn't finish it, but I still want to play part three because I've seen gameplay, I've seen reviews, and I like it. Everything that I've seen from it, be good. I like it. Good. And uh, it's Probably very not. cheap right now. If you A go shop? to GameStop, yeah, uh, you could find that Guess game for five dollars, four ninety nine for right? uh, Mass Effect three. And I don't know what's Prescott. going on. Aya looks oh, amazing. Shit. I think she looks you incredible. Chairman Prescott. That I don't know what's going on with on Mass Effect because um, if I'm not mistaken, you know, Andromeda will be coming out, out this year. Hang on. Um, I have a feeling that game is going to be pushed back to 2017. But um, based on the developers, I think there's not going to be like a remastered version of Part 1, 2, and 3 uh, like they've done with um, Halo and Gears of War. Uh, sucks with Gears of War, they just did Part 1. Kind of sucks. Why not do all three games like they did with Master Chief? That would have been awesome. One package, one, two, and three. I think I would have got it. 
but I didn't bother getting the damage, HD version of Gears of War because I already played that game like three times, you know, and my memory of that game is awesome. I don't need to replay the uh, old game that I played before. <laughs> oh, crap. I totally killed that guy. And I think I also helped out because I think I shot at him. <laughs> Unidentified variant. So here finally we're seeing a little bit of action here. And let's see here with the... Uh, there you go. <laughs> Switch to the shotgun there. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks pretty freaking sweet. If I'm not mistaken, that was, this was the first time that that creature right there was introduced in part 3, because I don't remember seeing that sucker in part 1 or 2. Um, here I'm trying to get used to the controls. Um, kind of sucks, I, I can't remember how to do the, the... Take cover! Take cover! Okay, they blew up the cover. <laughs> That was totally lame right there. But one thing, I can't remember how to do the, the... I think it's the blade. You know, the the assault rifle has the chainsaw. Okay, there it is. It says B. Uh, right now, I should have done that here, but instead I keep shooting at him. Huh. I guess with B, you do the, the chainsaw move which is amazing um, nobody has performed something like that on any game at all that's one thing that a lot of other games hasn't ripped off that much I can't remember there's another game where, 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 where you actually use like a chainsaw and your assault rifle I can't remember if there is one but it's it's amazing it's very gratifying when you do the chainsaw move Better park that nice new raven. You see here the cutscenes they look pretty damn good. Pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. And that's one thing we have to um, honestly give it up to Xbox. That's one thing they've done better than the PlayStation 4 is the backwards compatibility. You know, because um, on the X, uh, for those that don't know, should know by now. But on the PlayStation 4, you can play old games, but most of the old games uh, being played on through PlayStation Now, which is a service where you actually stream the games through your PlayStation 3 or uh, not PlayStation 4. Uh, not every game is available there, just like here on Xbox, on Xbox, on Xbox, Xbox, every 360 game is available. But there you have to actually pay for a monthly fee, like if it was Netflix, but for games. Uh, I think it's like $20 a month or something like that. Um, but you're streaming the game, you're not downloading the game, so if you don't have internet service, you're Doom. If your internet sucks, you're also doomed because the gameplay is not going to be good. And I've tried it a lot of times on the PlayStation 4 and on the PlayStation Vita, and I've been having bad experience. Like, see there, you can also record um, video gameplay for the Xbox um, 360 games as well, which is good. So. I've been having a horrible experience. I made a couple videos already for the PlayStation Now, and me, myself, I've been having a horrible experience with PlayStation Now. Honestly, I don't think that's the right way to do backwards compatibility. This is the right way, which is weird that um, Xbox actually got that right. You know, and PlayStation, supposedly PlayStation says that it's almost impossible. I don't see how it's impossible if, Xbox can do it perfectly good. You know, um, the reason why we're not getting all the Xbox 360 games is that because they have to actually ask permission to the developers um, to to make these games available on Xbox One. Uh, they can't just put the game up and become uh, and go ahead. You go ahead and play it. No, you can't do that. I think this week, uh, this week, and um, Red Dead Redemption actually got leaked. And people started playing it. I think there was uh, some people playing it um, on the Xbox One, but then they took it down again. And so that's why, you know, you can't just put the game on the Xbox One. You know. Now 
here I tried to use the damn <laughs> uh, chainsaw and I can't get it done. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. I couldn't get it done there. Kind of sucks. But, you know, it's kind of cool that here we can actually play some old games. Games that we missed. And it feels very good, very natural. Here I'm throwing a grenade there. And everything looks very good. So, like I said, man, I hope back, uh, um, Microsoft actually puts uh, Mass Effect 3, uh, Splinter Cell, Blacklist, which uh, is a game that I want to play, whether it's on the Xbox One or PlayStation 4. I hope that game makes it to the next gen console. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there's no Splinter Cell game planned for the, this gen of consoles it's kind of weird but other than that guys just wanted to share this uh, little gameplay with you guys just to let you know that Gears of War 3 is playable on the Xbox one it's kind of hard to find but I found it for five dollars <laughs> not bad five dollars for this game totally worth it uh, looks pretty good plays perfectly good just like it would on the Xbox 360 so thanks for watching the video guys just wanted to share this gameplay with you guys this was gears of war 3 on the xbox one till next time guys